Okay, hello, my name is Gunders. I am the member of the Gecko Core team, and uh, I will be today showing you some some of the nice views of the old Riga in Latvia. And while I'm doing that, I will be also explaining you some of the typical stereotypes of the people from Latvia. The first thing. I want you to understand and know is that Latvia and Latvians in general are a beer nation and hockey nation. We really like to drink quite a lot of beer and we make uh, quite a lot of beer as well. And our national sport is hockey. If someone is wondering that, uh, about that, so here's the answer. Our national sport is hockey. We are huge hockey fans. The other thing uh, about Latvian people is that uh, we seem to be pretty punctual. Uh, we kind of don't like to be late. We are always on time. And apparently uh, lots of my foreign friends have told me that uh, for Latvians to be on time, it actually means being about 15 minutes earlier. So if you are planning a meeting with a Latvian, uh, you can you, you you can you can be sure that uh, Latvian L Latvian people will most likely arrive about 10 to 15 minutes before the agreed time. Uh, for us, it's kind of like a normal thing to do. The other thing is that we are pretty calm, reserved, and to a huge extent quiet people as well. We tend not to express any of our feelings, uh, and this is. This should be regarded as pretty normal and nor nor normal thing from from Latvian people. So, we will not be the fir first ones who let's say start the conversation or uh, let's say kickstart the party or let's say give a, give a, give a, give us some kind of a, like a notice of ourselves in an event. So, being calm and quiet and reserved is something really normal for Latvian people. Some of my foreign friends have noticed that uh, Latvian, Latvians are the people who like to sing and dance quite a lot. Uh, we are a singing and dancing nation. Every four years we are also uh, having a huge uh, national song and dance festival. Uh, so singing and dancing is an essential part of uh, our let's say culture and if there is a party for example or an event when suddenly uh, when suddenly there is a possibility to sing or dance Latvians will most likely be the be the ones who are actually starting doing that so singing and dancing like uh, a huge part of the Latvian culture and definitely think that is true that we really like to sing and dance quite a lot and as the last stereotype that I can mention is something that I hear quite a lot when I am abroad, especially traveling ac across Europe, uh, is, is the fact that I hear that Latvians are the same or similar as the Russians. Uh, although I cannot deny the fact that there has been quite a lot of influence from the Russian side uh, in, into Latvia, uh, but I can surely say that Latvians are totally not the same as Russians. Uh, we do not speak Russian as our uh, main language in Latvia. It is wild. There are quite a lot of Russian people living, of course, in Latvia, and Russian language is uh, while 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 widely used uh, here as well. But the Latvian language is the dominant one, and uh, Latvians uh, as a nation are not that similar to Russians. So this is the stereotype that is not quite true. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed some of the views of the old Riga. And these were the most popular stereotypes about the Latvian people.